What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the A Series Assassin Droid, an advanced and ancient battle droid that was used by the Confederacy of Independent Systems. It was manufactured by an Anx, a scientist named Paloxy Poi, who was considered by most to be an insane genius. He was approached by the Shell Huts, the smallest of the Hut clans, but who wore these armored suits and who had sights on killing their Hut competition. This was a fourth degree droid, putting it in league with the Droidica and the IG series droids, and it was certainly deadly enough to belong in this intimidating group. At 2.4 meters, or 8 feet tall, it would be able to look down on a Wookiee and packed a retractable blaster cannon in its arm while having retractable blades in each of the fingers, all while being coated in a reflective material that helped to deflect small arms blaster fire. This built-in laser cannon was similar to the B2 Super Battle Droid, but the A-Series was acrobatic like a commando droid, and was programmed to be proficient with flechette rockets, sonic detonators, flamethrowers, tractor beams, and of course, vibroblades. These abilities were used to kill two of the Shell Hut's rivals in the Ganjali clan, resulting in the Ganjali sending to Shade Shadow Killers after the droid's creator Pollux Poi, forcing him to flee to the deep woods of Kashyyyk. Poi was able to keep his own entourage of these bodyguards, helping to keep the monstrous hitman away from their creator for about 20 years until he died of natural causes. This all happened around the year 4000 BBY, right around the time of the Great Sith War, but eventually they made their way out to the fringes of the galaxy, and it was what they found in the Gri Enclave that would set them up for their use in the Clone Wars. This region of the Outer Rim was controlled by one of the oldest and most technologically advanced species, the Gri, who were defeated by the maniacal race, the Rakata. When these assassin droids discovered some of this Rakata tech, it improved their skills even further, and allowed them to persist over four millennia. While traveling across the Outer Rim to raise support for the CIS, Count Dooku came across these A-Series and added them to his droid army. Fifteen months after the Battle of Geonosis, a major battle erupted on the planet Jabim between nationalist forces that wanted to secede from the Republic, causing the CIS to align with them, providing the Jabim Separatists with weapons, droids, and vehicles. Dooku saw this as the perfect place to debut his elite assassin unit, and by pairing them up with the Nimbus Commandos, they were able to contribute to the Separatist victory on Jabim. Later, Asajj Ventress would carry 18 of these droids in her starfighter Last Call, and use them to ambush Yoda at Findar Spaceport. A few of them made up the special security detail on the planet Veyun, and believe it or not, these timeless droids survived on even into the time of the New Republic, where they were still paired up with the Nimbus Commandos, who were fighting to keep Jabim independent. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind the scenes fact is that in the novel Yoda, Dark Rendezvous, these droids are described in a way that makes them sound like droidicas, as they came spinning down the hallway and unpacked before entering a combat stance, but this is never depicted in the comic, and their look doesn't really seem to support being able to curl up into a roly-poly ball. But it is still interesting to think about, imagining a droid as nimble as a BX series commando, with the speed and rolling powers of a droidica. So that's it for the A series assassin droid, but most important of all, remember, never underestimate the weird stuff you can find in the Outer Rim, and the Force will be with you, always.